I pulled out some Crown Royal for the night so we could talk about Crown Royal. And I know y'all y'all like to talk about the expensive bottles or whatnot. So I got a few, I got a few expensive, but well, what's considered expensive bottles. I got the Crown Royal 18 year. And I have the Crown Royal 30 year. And I have a miniature of the regular Crown Royal. What I'm going to do is a drink debate. Now, I love doing drink debates to see which one tastes better. So, I didn't think this was worth, I think at retail, this is like, this thing here is like $400 retail. Maybe maybe $500. Google it. It is expensive. This is crazy. It's 30 years old, and I understand the fact that it's 30 years old that it's really expensive. So, but taste-wise... It don't taste like it's worth like that much a shot. And this right here is the 18 year old Crown Royal. I really enjoy this one. I like this a lot. It's about 125 bucks, I believe, for this bottom. So delicious to me, and I think it's worth every penny. But let's do a drink debate. Let's see which one tastes better. So I got the regular Crown right here. Crack this open, pour it up. We're gonna do a little half pour. Regular. Next one, we're gonna do the 18 year. The bottles are gorgeous though. Y'all gotta give it up to the bottles. The bottles are nice looking. Do an 18 year pour. And we're gonna do a 30 year pour. So the 18 year in the middle, y'all don't let me forget, cause your boy be be on this and be done forgot. Now I have nothing to really cleanse my palate in between, so we gonna go for play. So which one should I which one should I go with first though? Should I just go with the uh, 30 year and then test my way down, or should I go and test my way up? Let me see how I want to play this. How how would you play it, Jake? Would you want to taste the best and be like, oh, yeah, that's way better than that? Or supposedly the best? All right, let's just go for play. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to go 30 year and I'm going to go down. Oh, test my way up. All right, Z1, we're going to go with you. I got to re, recalibrate my nostrils. Yeah, I, bro, I just smelled the 30 year. I smell this one. This got a way more alcohol potency on it. The regular crown. I'm finna. All right. So the 30 year and the 18 year smells a little more natural. The uh, regular crown tastes alcohol. I mean, smells alcohol. What can I say? It's crown roll. Tastes like crown. Matches crown. That's crown. So I got a little Coke and uh, crown right here, so I'm going to clean my palate with that, <laughs> I guess. So next up is the 18-year. 18-year smells delicious, though. I got like a nice oaky fruity flavor. That's what I like about this one. It got that fruity, it got that fruitiness to it for some reason. Mm. Eighteen year smashing. Eighteen year smashing, bro. Eighteen year smashing. So I'm doing the taste test between Crown eighteen, regular Crown, and a thirty year. So thirty years up next. Now, 30 years smells way better than all three of them. I got to tell you that. The oaky sweetness, aroma. Oh, man. Like the aroma, come the 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 bouquet, the, no, the nose on this is so, so much better. It smells like a, like a deep, oaky wine smell.
It's crushing all of them though. This is this tastes like a this tastes almost like a a wine finish on it. It's it's crushing all of them. I'm mistaken. I do like the 30 year better than the 18 year. I do like the 18 year a lot. Head to head, they taste bet this one tastes better, and it tastes better by a lot more than the 18 year. And they're they're miles away from the regular crown roll. Miles away from the regular crown roll. So I was mistaken. It is expensive. I still don't like the price on I, I still don't like it. The price you spend on this, and I, I I don't have to get another bottle, but I will cherish every sip out of this one. So I haven't had the Crown Royal Reserve, so I haven't tried that one. But I was very impressed with the Crown Royal XO. I like that a lot. So Crown Royal XO, I think I gave that a high notch. But this right here, man, it's a can it's a Canadian 30-year blend of, but it is It truly is good though. Now I'm getting like sweet, smoky taste, sweet, smoky, oaky taste. I'm getting complex. It's very complex. This this is a, it's a complex thing. That's probably why I didn't didn't enjoy it. Well, it was a high price. That's why I didn't. I just think some people money is different, right? So if your money a little different, this might be you all day. You know what I'm saying? But for me. This gotta knock your socks off for that type, that price range. So, for me, this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? But it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> I, I I tried some. It was a drink debate, but the debate winner is clear. It's clear. The thirty year is it. Thirty years. One point five for the price. Oh yeah. Yes, that's what that's hey maybe I'll start doing different categories because the price is like a low number. The juice inside is good. That's the same thing with Shannon Sharp, uh Kanye. The price, I don't like the price. I like the the juice inside of it, but I don't like the price, bro. And I don't know, like if people have different different levels of money, so the price might not matter to them. It just matters about the taste and presentation. Everything matters to me. I, I'll buy a bottle because the bottle look good. I won't buy a bottle. Uh, I'll buy a bottle because it tastes good. I'll buy a bottle because it looks good sometimes. And then I'll just hope it tastes good. But this right here, 30 year, ain't too many. It's not going to be too many Crown Royals that's above that. I got the Cast 16. I might do that one versus that. And that used to be like a $50 bottle. But that was one of the most exquisite crowns that I've tasted thus far. So I might put that one against it. I don't have any of the XR red or the XR blue to try that out. So yeah, but this 18 year still 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 top of the line to me. I like the 18 year a lot. So I was just mistaken. They got me on that one. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna make that mistake no more. It's straight. I got straightened out with that one right there, bro. I got straightened out with that crown right there. I'm telling you.